when you're sewing, whether you've been sewing for five days or five years, at some point you're going to have to unpick your seam. It's always best to redo your mistakes early on rather than to suffer the consequences later. Learning to feel comfortable with unpicking a seam can be really helpful when you face those little challenges that crop up when you're sewing. The first thing you're going to need is a seam ripper. You're going to want to make sure that your seam ripper is pretty new, that it's nice and sharp, and that it has a fine tip. Even these small little inexpensive seam rippers can work really great because they have a really slender point here at the top, which can be really helpful when unpicking. When you use your seam ripper, you want it to be turned on its side, so rather than pointing up like this, you want to be able to see the U shape. I like to start by unpicking the section with the back stitching. You're going to take your seam ripper and you're going to slide it under a stitch and then slide it up. At the base of the seam ripper is a little blade, so that will cut your stitch. In the section where you've back stitched, do that under every single stitch. Once you get to the section that does not have back stitching, you don't have to do every single stitch. I like to do about every fourth stitch, depending on the size. My stitch length here is a little longer, so probably every fourth or fifth stitch would be fine. So I'm just going to keep my seam ripper to its side. and undo my stitches and then again when I get to the section with the back stitching I'm going to do every single stitch and then I'm going to turn my fabric to the back and on the back side it doesn't look like I did anything but all of these stitches are actually now loose so I'm going to use my seam ripper to pull up those stitches I'm just going to pull up the stitches here at the beginning and I'm going to grab my thread and pull And because I undid all of those stitches, it comes out nice and easy. Then to make your fabric look nice again, you do want to make sure that you remove any of those remaining little threads. And now you're ready to sew again. Here is a second option for unpicking a straight seam. Sometimes when you're unpicking your seam, especially in plush or thick fabrics, it can be really hard to slide your seam ripper under your stitches. They could be difficult to see or they could be sinking right into the fabric and that can be really challenging. So here's another method you could use. You can open up your fabric and if you can, Press open your seam allowance just with your fingers and then look from the right side and slide your seam ripper between the layers. Make sure you only cut threads and not the fabric and then gently pull your fabric apart. You can see the threads in between and so as you pull Cut the thread and separate. Cut the thread and separate. And continue like that all the way down. Sometimes it's easier to see and identify the thread this way rather than on the back side. I've had to use this method on multiple occasions when unpicking the other way was just too much of a challenge. With this method, you do have to be pretty careful in 
the back stitch section. Make sure you're only cutting through the thread and not your fabric. And then as before, remove your threads. Unpicking a zigzag stitch is actually easier than unpicking a straight stitch. Again, we're going to start at the section with the back stitching. Undo all of those stitches. When you get to the section with the zigzags that are just a single layer, you can simply slide the point of your seam ripper under those stitches and press. You have to be really careful to make sure you're just under the thread and not the fabric. but you just slide it down. Pull your thread. And remove the excess. Here's one last method for unpicking your seams. You'll notice that your seam ripper has a little ball on the end. That's to help you separate your layers of fabric so that you can slide the seam ripper through really quickly. So if you have a seam that's already been sewn, especially one on a project that has already been closed like this, you can get it started by unpicking each little thread So gently pull your fabric apart and get under a single thread and start pulling. Once you've got it started, slide the ball section of the seam ripper in between the layers so that it hooks right at the top edge of your fabric. Hold the fabric steady and slide your seam ripper. and our seam is unpicked. Now this method is super awesome because it's fast, it's quick, it's really easy, um, and it takes like two seconds, which is wonderful. However, um, be cautious. I have on multiple occasions using this method accidentally got the fabric caught in that little groove. And since I'm just pushing it along, I don't notice, and I end up with a hole in my fabric. So if that is your preferred method for unpicking, just take care, be really cautious, make sure you don't accidentally get a hole in your fabric. So if you're working with expensive fabrics or something where you don't have any leeway in the size, I would recommend using one of the other methods.